on folks coming down the runway is the habu sts what a great jet great edf to get to get you started thing about it is just a great just a great plane period not just your first edf but uh now it may seem like in the past i've talked out of both sides of my mouth in regards to this plane i've said things like it's not a great first edf because it's so easy to fly and what i mean by that is just what i said is it is so easy to fly however I've changed my ideas on it in that it is it, you do have to have the discipline. I start thinking about well I'm using you know my reference as you know my experience as a reference and that's not fair to someone just getting into the hobby and uh, and just get into EDS maybe that this would make a good EDF, a good beginner EDF. I mean you do have to have your longer uh, approaches to get yourself level and you do need longer a longer runway and uh, you do have to have the discipline of that that part of it but uh, uh, as far as that goes uh, the only mod on this plane is I've added um, du uh, Dubro's low bounce tires but uh, anyways, back to why this is a good EDF and why uh, a beginner EDF, and I do caution, though, um, if this is going to be your first EDF, fine. You know, fly where you can fly this thing, you know, and make it dance on its head, and you actually have no problem flying it at all. And that's, and that's great. That's the way it should be, okay? You should, you should get where you're very, very comfortable with it. They're a nice presentation pass. But then, Time I would go to the Arrows Marlin after this. You're thinking, well, wait a minute, this is 70 millimeter and that's a 64 millimeter. Yeah, but you now you're talking about an EDF that has flaps, you know, basically considered, you know, full house. Well, it doesn't have retracts, but it's, more of more of a truer EDF in that um, it behaves. I'm, I, I'm maybe I shouldn't say that. I, it's more of a. It's just this plane is so freaking easy to fly. <laughs> and and my biggest fear with this plane, and as far as advising people, is that you're going to get this EDF here, and then go straight to say the Havoc, an E-Flight Havoc, or one of the expensive uh, free wing uh, EDFs. And, and I'm afraid, you know, or maybe the, the A-10. And they're, they're, they really do. I mean, you gotta have the full EDF discipline with those things. You, you do to a certain degree with this one. It's just this thing floats for so long. And it's so easy to fly that I'm just, I have, I warn, I warn against going from this to a very aggressive, powerful EDF. Something a little tamer is what I suggest, like the Marlin. Is the Marlin would be the great one after this. You got flaps. You'd have to have the same kind of approach. You've got speed, um, but it's another one, another good one to cut your teeth on. and uh so yeah this could be your first edf but don't don't uh just don't say okay now i, I can fly that plane with no problem at all and i'm an edf expert i wouldn't do that i would go to another edf after this one maybe with something with a little more maneuverability 
a little more uh, power, maybe maybe just a touch more, uh, a little more speed, because actually that little marlin is actually quite fast. It really is. It has a little bit shorter of a wing. Not it doesn't have it's not as thick of a wing, and so you have to fly a little with a little more discipline than you do this plane. This plane you can literally float her right in. And uh, but with a marlin, you kind of have to fly. I mean, you really have to stay on them sticks and fly her in like you're supposed to. This plane will float and float and float like a high wing trainer will. So that's why I'm saying, that's why I caution against people going straight from this to something a little bigger and more powerful. Um, I, I, I highly recommend the Marlin, the Marlin after this one. Well anyways, but this is a great beginner EDF. I'll go ahead and go on record and say that. And I do love to fly it. I, I look forward to flying it every time I have it. All right, well, we had the, t you know what? We're gonna push it. We're gonna push it. I'm running to 4,000. I have my timer set for four minutes. Time expired. Time's now expired. <laughs> she picked up some wind. All right. All right. Well, okay. You want to hear this? Motor off. Well, I don't have a voice on that. Oh, that's right. Motor on. That's motor off on this. Okay. Motor's off. He. Motor on. Motor off. Motor off. It's all right. So let's see where we're at. We were four minutes and 10 seconds. The lipo is just slightly hot, but you can see where I have the 4,000. The front straps, let me pick it up where you can see it better. The front strap I'm not using. I'm just using the middle strap. I've already undone it. And so there's a little bank there, about two fingers in. Um, you can see the front strap thing this is i'm using this is where i got the 4000 right there and it balances perfect right there so let's see where we're at on the old battery checker four minutes and 10 seconds flight and i got 34 percent left perfect all right, folks. Well, there you go. That is the Habu STS. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all.